Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Christmassy one. I am going to be doing a little prep work in my December Not Daily journal, and I say not daily because I don't document every day in December. I am also going to be doing some stamping and making some numbered labels for my journal. But first I thought it would be really fun to show you the Christmas supplies that I have and that I can use in my journal this year. So this organiser is from Ikea. I used it last year and it worked really well keeping all of my items together, so I thought I would use it again this year. I also have this china dish filled with washi, so there are some reds and golds, a little bit of blue and green and white, and I also have a washi sample here that I thought I might like to use as well. I do have more Christmas washi in my stash, but I just pulled out a selection. I also have these two tubes of washi tape, one is Crepe Paper Busy Sidewalks which I bought new this year and the other one is by Tim Holtz. I'm going to be using this stamp set to create some numbered labels for my journal and I'm going to be doing some stamping later on in the video so stay tuned for that. I actually picked this stamp set up from eBay and from what I remember I don't think it was that expensive. This little plastic container just holds a few little bits and pieces. So I have some twine, ribbon, um, some tags that my friend Danny made me, just a few paper clips and some loose stickers. These are just some word and phrase stickers. I also have some rub ones that I've not used before. I have had them a few years so I'm hoping they still work and I'm going to see if I can use some of them in my journal this year. I have this pile of ephemera and this one here is by Crate Paper. It's the Hey Santa collection and I was using it last year. Inside this brown paper bag, I just have a variety of smaller paper bags and envelopes. I love to add photos and journaling inside them. And this envelope was made by my friend Danny. In this striped paper bag, I have all the little bits and pieces that came with the journal I bought from Johanna. So there are some die cut pieces, journaling cards, some tags, a paper bag and some linen printables. I just like to keep them all together so I know kind of where it came from. In this glassine paper bag, I just have lots of bits and pieces from my stash, so I just pulled out some bits and pieces I thought I might like to use. So I have a couple of journaling cards and some note paper and some tickets. I've also pulled out a couple of doilies I might like to use, so I have a green one, a brown and a gold one. I also have some little scraps of doily that I'm going to try and use up. I also have some other little bits and pieces, some tags and some snowflake pieces, just lots of little bits and pieces to use up. This is something new that I have picked up this year, it's the Crate Paper Busy Sidewalk 6x8 paper pad and I'm just giving you a bit of a look at the papers inside. Mm -hmm. 
This is the Hey Santa by Crepe Paper sticker book and I was using this last year. This one is again something new I've bought this year, it's the Busy Sidewalk sticker book. These clear stickers are by Simple Stories and I've actually been using these over the last few years. I've also picked out some alphas to use, so I've got some red, cream, black and gold alphas. These are just some paper bag scraps left over from last year. And all the papers you see here are printables from Little Bindi on Etsy. I believe this is the Together paper pack and I printed all of these out last year. These wallets here are also filled with Johanna's printables. So the ones you see here are from the December zine. I also have some of her Christmas vintage linen printables. And there's also some illustrated doily printables at the front of here as well. In this wallet I just have some of the Christmas foldouts and notebook covers and I also have lots of cut apart pieces from the collage sheet. I also have these 6x12 sticker sheets by Crate Paper, so there's Busy Sidewalks, Hey Santa and Merry Days. I have this vintage book that I picked up from a charity shop last year and it just has lots of Christmas sheet music in it. And last of all I have these labels that I printed off. I will leave the link for these down in the description box for you. I am going to be doing some stamping on these in just a moment so keep on watching. So that's my little IKEA organiser filled with all of my Christmas supplies this year. Okay so now we're on to the prep part of the video. So as I previously just mentioned, I printed these labels off my computer and what I did was I printed four to a page and I printed them on sticker paper and that just means I don't have to fuff about with glue. So what I'm going to be doing is creating some numbered labels for my journal. I used some last year but it was a printable from Johanna's shop and this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. So all I'm doing is trimming a few down with my scissors So I've decided to stamp just three of them today and that's because I don't document every day in December so I didn't want to be wasteful and stamp 31 and then only potentially use half of them. So I've chosen to stamp days 1, 24 and 25 and that's because I know I'm probably going to have something to document on those days. Now I have a little tip for you, <laughs> um, don't take your stamp to your ink pad, take your ink pad to your stamp because as you can see here by taking my stamp to the ink pad I got ink on all of the corners and that just doesn't make for a very good stamp impression so it's actually easier to take your ink pad to your stamp and I'm sure you probably already know that but I thought it might be useful in case you didn't. and I always wipe off the excess ink before I put it back in the stamp box. And as you can see, I was about to take my stamp to the ink pad again. <laughs> um, I think it's just a natural thing I tend to do. And 
now I'm just going to try carefully to get the number four as close to the two as possible. And the same again with the number five. <laughs> and it wouldn't be normal for me if I didn't get a little bit messy in each crafting session. And here are my numbered labels. I'm really happy with how they turned out. This is the junk journal that I was using last year and I do have some process videos up on my channel so I will leave the link to that playlist down in the description box for you. But I bought this journal from Johanna Clough in 2019 and I absolutely love it but I need to remove some pages from the journal because it's got really bulky. So as you can see here I have used two of the nine signatures and it takes up half of the journal and if I keep going the way I'm going which is chunking up my pages then I'm not going to be able to use the last five signatures of the journal so I'm actually going to be removing some of them today and I'm going to show you how I do that. So this is where I got up to last year and all I'm going to be doing is going through each signature and deciding what papers I'd like to remove. So the way I'm going to choose what papers to remove is I'm going to try and keep all of the papers that have pockets, sewing or stamping on inside the journal. I will also be trying to remove the pages that perhaps I'm not too sure how to document on or pages that are perhaps a little bit thicker like scrapbook paper. I'm going to be removing this children's book page which I do love but because it's got Christmas feasting on it I thought it might be useful nearer to Christmas and I'm not going to be needing it in the first signature. So all I'm doing is ripping out the page as carefully as I can and then the opposite side should just come out really easily. And now I'm just going to go through the rest of the journal and see what pages I can remove. With some of the pages I decided to just trim them down with my ruler to make a few smaller pages and that too will also remove a little bit of bulk from the journal. And we've reached the end of the journal. Because I've removed some papers from each signature, it has made them a little bit loose, so I'm just going to make them a little bit tighter. So all I'm doing here is using my awl and putting it into the centre of the knot to loosen it, and then all I'm going to be doing is trying to retie the thread as tightly as I can. It is a little bit tricky to do because there isn't a lot of thread to work with but I wanted to try and tighten them just for my own peace of mind. If you are just removing the odd page or just trimming a couple of pages down you probably don't need to do this and it's probably unnecessary but like I said I just wanted to do it for my own peace of mind. The only signature I don't try and retighten is the last one with the envelope in because I'd have to untie the envelope. So these are all of the papers that I have removed. I have removed craft paper, some scrapbook paper and some children's book pages. I also did remove a page with a pocket and some sewing on, that is the black scrapbook paper, just because it was quite thick. All of these won't go to waste, I will be making pockets and journaling cards out of them. I hope you enjoyed seeing my supplies and how I'm getting ready for documenting December. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next video, bye guys.